We're here at Ardmore with Project 86 for our fourth and final test day. The car's got a new exhaust system thanks to X-Force and with the EQTEC tuning package we've managed to get some more power out of it as well. The EQTEC tuning package also gives us some really cool race ROM features which is nice for a motorsport application. One of those is the launch control feature which you're going to see in a second and the other one is the auto blip feature which allows us to match the RPM on a downshift automatically without having to do anything with the throttle. I really like that feature. So let's go for a lap and see what it all works out like. Straight away you can hear that the exhaust note is definitely a lot louder than it used to be. It's not obnoxious, but it lets you know that the engine's running. And the car now sounds a bit more sporty. It's one of the things that was really lacking in stock form. As for the power, We've only got 14 more kilowatts at the rear wheels. It's not a huge increase in power. It's about what we'd expect from a naturally aspirated engine though. We don't have the advantage of a turbo or a supercharger to make our life easy. That extra 14 kilowatts though is really noticeable. You can tell it's got a lot more torque when you're coming out of a corner. It just lets it get up to speed a lot more quickly. And you can feel it holding that speed down the whole length of the straight. So what that's done is it's added up to a car that is more fun to drive, sounds more sporty, and it's a little bit quicker around our Gymkhana course, which was the aim at the end of the day. So we're pretty happy with the results we've achieved. We've finished our testing with Project 86 here at Ardmore, and it's been a really rewarding test series. We've got a chance to test some really high quality products from a bunch of really well known manufacturers and see the results of each of those parts individually. We'd like to thank our sponsors for getting involved and supplying these parts to us. We're not finished with Project 86 though, we think it still needs a little bit more power and we'd like some feedback from you. Let us know in the comments whether you'd like to see us build a forced induction combination for the car or whether we should stick with a high RPM naturally aspirated screamer. We've been testing out the new Nitto NTO1 track tyres. So these are a semi-slick compound. Uh, for me it's the first time I've driven on a semi-slick and I could not believe the difference. Uh, it took me a whole session to actually find the limits of the tyres. It's really transformed the handling and the car is so much quicker around the track thanks to the tyres. 